In today's video, you're going to learn everything you need to know regarding lifting state in React. We're first going to kind of give a conceptual overview on what lifting state is, and then I'm going to show you an example of a situation in which we need to lift state to solve a problem. So in React, data flows one way. Data will flow from parent to child component within React. And you can think of React as structuring its components in a tree-like data structure in which you have a root component, which is technically like your parent element. And then you have a bunch of children components that kind of branch off of that root component. And your data within React can only flow from that parent element to more child most elements. So data flows one way from parent to child. Now you can use things like context and other state management libraries to change this behavior a bit and pass data a bit differently. But by default, data will flow just from parent to child within kind of the core React library. Now, sometimes you'll find that you have two sibling components. So two components that they don't have a parent-child relationship. They are actually kind of just across from each other in the React hierarchy, meaning one is not a parent or child of the other. However, you might find that you might need some of your data within one child component. Let's say you also need that data within the other kind of sibling component. So sibling one has the data you need, but sibling two, it also needs that data. But since you can't pass your data from you know, sibling to sibling within React, well, at least by default, then how can you actually go about making sure that both siblings have the data that they need. Well, in this situation, you can actually lift this data up or you can lift this state up to the lowest common ancestor or the lowest common parent of both of these children. So if that data is in sibling one and you need it to be in sibling two, and let's say they both share a common parent, well, you would lift that data up to that parent and then you would then pass the data from that parent down to each sibling so they both can have that data that they need. So that is what's going on when someone's talking about lifting state up. You have two siblings that need the same state or the same data, and you are lifting that data up to the lowest common parent. So then you can then pass that data down to each sibling. And the reason you need to do this is because you can only pass data down from parent to child within React. And that's also assuming that you're just kind of using the default React library. You're not using something like context or state management and things like that. So let me actually show you an example of what this looks like so it comes together a little bit better. So in this example here, I have a very sophisticated kind of counter game. So I'm going to have one component that holds this count and you can increment and decrement the count as you can see here. And then I can also clear the count. And then you also have another component that has the game rules and shows you whether you are a winner or a loser. So the rules are, if the count is above 10, you win. If it's below 10, you lose. So in this example, I have two separate child components. This is a component right here. It's called child one. And this is going to manage my, my count and my incrementing, decrementing, and the clearing of that count. And you can see in the JSX that this returns, it has the count is whatever the state of my count is. And then on my increment, decrement, and clear, I'm going to call my handle increment, handle decrement, and handle clear functions to kind of have those working accordingly. Now, this video isn't about like managing state or the use state hook or uh, on change events or anything like that, but I do have videos on that if any of this isn't clear. Now, my child two this is where my game rules are. So I have another component right here, child two It has the game rules and it lists those rules here in just a ordered list. And then here, this is where I want to show the result of my game. And currently it just says you're currently a loser, but I'm going to want this to be reactive to what the count actually is, but we'll, we'll get to this in just a second. And then here in my app component, this is where I basically just render my two children right here. But as I alluded to earlier, I kind of have an issue here. 
I want this line of code here to be dynamic based on what the count of my game is. Right now, it's just hard coded. You're currently a loser. But I actually want some logic that kind of says, okay, if the count is greater than 10, you win. If the count is less than 10, you lose. So how am I going to handle this? Like, as you can see in my JSX here, what I mean by two sibling components is these two components, they are just rendered out right next to each other here. Meaning this child one is not a parent of child two and vice versa. These are siblings because they are rendered out next to each other right here. Now this app component, this is the root of my application. So the lowest common parent right now is this app component for these two children. But these two children are just siblings because they are just rendered right next to each other here in this JSX. And neither one of these children here is a parent of the other. So how can we solve this problem here of, I need this count state within my child two component, but right now it's, it's being managed in my child one component. And since these children are just rendered out right next to each other here, they're siblings, I can't, I can't go and pass my child one state right now to my child two state because they're not, there's not a parent child relationship there. So as I alluded to in my conceptual overview, I need some sort of parent component to manage my count state and then pass that count state down to both of my children components here. So there's kind of two different ways that I could go about doing this. I could ma manage my state within my overall app component here and that would work just fine. And then I could pass it down to my children here. Alternatively, I could create a kind of a wrapper component or a overall parent component here called counter game. And this component can manage the state and then render out my two children. And that's actually the approach I'm going to go with as I think in your kind of professional code, it's probably a little bit better to maybe create a wrapper component like this specific to this counter game other than just sticking a bunch of data within your main overall app component as you know that could get a little bit hairy and a little bit unmaintainable if you're sticking all of your state management within this app component, right? So here we're going to create a new component and this is going to be a parent component for both of these children right here. So what I'm going to want to do here is to create this component. Well, we're first going to want to make sure that we can return both of these children components here. So I am going to go ahead and we are gonna copy these here and paste this within the return statement. So this counter game is going to return both of these children components. So this is gonna be like a wrapper component to render these two. And for both of these components to have the state that I want, I'm gonna actually want to manage my state within my counter game component and then pass that down to my children. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy all of this from child one, and we are now gonna manage the state within my counter game component. So here, I manage my state within my counter game component. And now you're gonna see, all right, well, what data does child one need? Well, it's going to need my count, and it's gonna need my all of my functions here. It's gonna need handle increment, decrement and clear. So I'm going to actually just pass those as props. So now I'm passing the props of count and then all of my increment and decrement functions here. So in my child one component, well, I now need to get my count and these functions from my props here. So I'm going to destructure all of these as props here because I'm passing them in right here. And then my child two, that's also going to need the count of my game. And in my child two, I'm going to destructure my count here. Now, what I want to do here is I want to make this dynamic, like I said. So the way that I'm going to do this here is I'm going to say, let title equal. And I'm going to just default it to it's a tie. And then I'm going to say, if my count is greater than 10, then title is equal to 
you win. Else if my count is less than 10, then my title is equal to you lose. And then in the case to where it is 10, I'm just going to say that it is a tie. And then instead of here, I'm going to make this dynamic. So I'm going to just say that this is my title and it's going to render that out there. And then what I also need to do here is within my app component here, instead of rendering my children, I need to render my counter game because that is now my parent component to my two children component for my counter game. So if I go back to my browser here, if I didn't mess anything up, you're going to see that, okay, when I increment this counter here, everything still works. And then when I get above 10, you see, I get the result of you win. So this is showing me that my you know child two now works based off of my state dynamically. And if I go to 10, I get result is it's a tie. And then when it's below 10, they lose. So as you can see here, within my counter game, I've been able to solve the problem of not having this count state in both of my sibling components. And the way that I solve that problem is by lifting state up to a parent component and then passing that data down to both of those children. So lifting state within React is where you have two sibling components that both need the same data, but you only have that data within one of those sibling components. And since you can only pass data from parent to child within React, a common practice is to lift that data or lift that state up to the lowest common parent component and then pass that down to both children components. Now, sometimes you don't have like a good parent component and you need to create a wrapper component like I did here, a counter game component. And then I just render my two children here with the state that they need. So hopefully this video gives you a good understanding of lifting state within React and helps you out in your applications. I appreciate you tuning in and I will see you in that next one.